Hey friends, so today I had this script done for this video about how I was a mirror a few years ago. But then I said, uh, screw it, I'm gonna talk naturally. I think that this situation that I was in is not really addressed in schools right now. And if you are encountering this, I want to help you somehow get over it and understand that it's okay to be like this, it's okay to be you, it's okay to be anything and you are worth it. Okay, so the thing was that I wanted to fit in, to fit in the crowds, to feel like I was part of a social group. And how I thought this was possible was to imitate others. And when I say imitate others, I don't refer to as taking some things that relate to you from other people and putting that into your life. What I say by imitate and by being a mirror is that when I talk to someone, I took everything from them and I copied them specifically, like how they talked, how they gestured, how they sit. I wasn't me anymore. I didn't knew who I was. I didn't knew what I liked or what made me happy. I just took everything from one person and I applied that to that one person. And when I went to talk to another person, I changed completely. And my personality was this mess of people that I didn't know how to combine into making my own thing. I became a people pleaser and I was a people pleaser from I don't know how long but the way I thought I would make people appreciate me was to imitate them, to make them feel familiar around me, to feel something relatable, to feel like what they do is something that others do. This is how I thought they, that they would feel appreciated, because this is how I thought I would get appreciated. Because I didn't feel worth it. I didn't feel like people would spend time with me if I wasn't something great. And I never felt great, because I have a low self-esteem. And this is completely fine to be in this situation. It's completely fine to think like that, it's completely okay to act like that and to imitate others. But if you want a change, if you thought that this was not something that good for you, here I want to help you with this situation that you can overcome. My first tip that really helped me is to realize that there are so many people in the world and you don't have to stick to one friend group that you think you have to belong. You just have to find the right people to surround yourself with, to find the people that share the same passion as you, that enjoy the same things that you enjoy, that interest, that have the same interest as you do. And those people are not so rare. This is what I thought when I was in mid school. I am sure now that there was someone who had the same mindset that I do. And you just have to search and be patient and trust the process that you will find somebody that thinks just like you. The second thing is that you have to find who you are. I know this is pretty hard because as teenagers we don't have that much experience with life. We don't know what we like, we don't know what we enjoy, what brings joy to us, what makes us happy. And this is completely fine because we are so young and we have this whole life in front of us and we don't have to rush things. Just a tip here is try to experience everything. If you have an opportunity, just go for it. If someone asks to go out, just go for it. Don't think about um, the stuff that you have to learn from school, that you don't have the time, because this is uh, the excuses that I made when I said no to people. And now I kind of regret saying no, because I missed a lot of opportunities of making friends, of meeting new people. And this is how you can possibly meet the people that would connect to you in a meaningful way that would bring joy to you. Now, really take some time to reflect on your life. When something happens, try to think about it, to just take a few minutes out of your busy day and think about what this day meant for you. Because it's so easy to go through this life like a fish in the sea, swimming, and being on autopilot all the time and to not really reflect on our life that much because this is so easy to do. I did that for more than 18 years of my life. And 
I never felt joy. I never felt complete. I never felt like... I never felt satisfied even after reaching a goal because this meant almost nothing for me. I had goals but I didn't know why I was here, why I lived this life, what meaning had this life to me. And I don't know, just think about your day and think about the things that you appreciate in your day and the things that you want to achieve. I thought that we all had to fit in to be one like another. And this is not how you fit in. This is now not how I fit in. How I managed to fit in. Although I <laughs> don't think that I fit in because we don't have to fit in. This is the thing that I want to promote here. You don't have to fit in. You, if you are different, enjoy your difference. Because if we were all the same, this would not be an interesting world. I can tell you this because every one of us would think in the same way we, we would have the same ideas and probably we wouldn't have evolved this much if we were all the same. So just be you, find that you, if you can, if you can't, this is completely fine. You just try to enjoy life, to, ha to have a meaning about everything that you do because this is how I think life becomes more fulfilling. The last thing that I want to say is that people don't have to like you. It's okay to have enemies, let's say. It's okay to be involved in conflict. It's okay to have people that don't share your mindset. It's okay to have these people in your life. You don't have to make them like you because you are worth it. You are likable just the way you are and you don't have to prove this to someone. You just, just live your life and I don't know, if they hate you, let them hate you. If they judge you, let them judge you. Just be you. Find the people that share this you, that enjoy this you. Because, as I said, you are worth it. You don't have to do something extra to make, the pe to make people like you. To make people want to stay with you. You don't have to help them. You don't have to provide, I don't know, what value to them. You just have to be you for some people to really be enough. You don't even have to do this. This is what I say that it was good for me. You don't have to do this. It's okay to be how you are right now. I hope that you found the courage to break this mirror and to find your you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.